Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is the next video in the Wix data series, which lets you make changes to collections using Wix code. Uh, in the previous videos, we talked about the get method, the insert method, and the update method. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the remove method, which will complete all of the basic actions that you can take with a collection. So let's get started. Okay, so for this demonstration, uh, we have our repeater displaying our example collection uh, data. And the, what I've changed here from the previous videos is that I've added this delete button over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to code this button so that when it's clicked, this um, item is removed from the collection. And removed means removed permanently. It can't come back. Um, so in order to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the code from the API reference. So I'm going to go over here to remove. And I'm just going to copy this uh, boilerplate code. I'm going to head back over to my website. And here we already selected the collection using the collection ID. And I'm just going to paste the code over here. And we don't need this import Wix data because I already have it uh, up here on top. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, just wrap this in a function. So I'm going to say const remove item. And this is going to be a function that takes a parameter, which is going to be the item ID. And in terms of collection, we are just going to use the collect my collection variable, which is equal to collection example. And in the previous videos, I explained how you can find this ID for your collection. Now I'm just going to grab all of this and paste it inside of the wrapper function. Last thing I need to do here is just change this to the item ID. So now whenever we call this function with an item ID, it'll remove that item from that collection. And then it'll return the item that was removed. So let's go ahead and do the last thing that we need to do, which is make this actually happen when we click a button. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to need to set up this repeater. So this is the people repeater, if I remember correctly. And then we're just going to set up the on item ready for the repeater, which is basically what executes um, when the repeater is populated with data. And if we set an event listener for a button here, let's say that will execute for each button on the item. Uh, and this takes three parameters. So the item, item ID, uh, item data, sorry and the index and then we can uh, run our callback function and in this callback function what i'm simply going to do is when a delete button okay so the delete buttons are the blue buttons over here on each item but instead of using this global w i'm going to use item and that means that this is individual to each item and then uh, on click And here we're going to have a callback function, which is essentially just going to run our remove item function with item data dot ID. So we're passing in the ID of that specific item uh, to the delete button. And now when I click one of these delete buttons, this should remove this uh, item from our collection. So let's take a look and see it actually happening. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to go into the collection. So let's go over here collection example and open collection. And what I'm showing you here is basically that a certain item exists in the collection. So example, Rupert Taft is in our collection. Okay, you could see the line right here. And when I go into preview mode, and I look for Rupert over here, and then I click delete, 
And let's look over here. So we got something returned on line 14. So that means that our code uh, is working. And if I go back to the editor and take a look at the collection example again, let's look for Rupert and we cannot find him because it's not in the collection. And the same goes if I go back into preview mode and we take a look at the repeater in preview mode, you'll see that Rupert is nowhere to be seen. And we didn't have this updating live, so I didn't refresh the data in the repeater after the deletion, which is what you probably should do. And that's why you saw Rupert here still after I pressed the delete button. But at the moment that I pressed the delete button, Rupert was indeed not in the collection anymore. Uh, because the data displayed in a repeater is the data that you populate it with at the moment that it's created. Um, and if you want to refresh, you have to run the refresh method. So that is how you uh, remove an item from a collection using the remove method from the Wix data API. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.